So listen, if I had 45 mil just drifting around, I'd probably start a record label and represent young kids like this. And I say young with all due respect because I'm kind of long in the tooth myself, but I've seen legends come and go. I've learned to see the algorithm and it's playing out on our show this morning. Joining us is an emerging rapper, singer, songwriter. I'm going to call him a wordsmith by the name of C Fresh. He's already dropped an absolute banger. And of course, we have got Boot Legend, adding the legend to the track that they're about to perform. Um, so thank you for coming so yeah, early, man. I know for, for, for rap superstars, it's a difficult time of the day to, yeah. to embrace, bro. Now, we love the fact that you guys are here and working That's together. See, Fresh, I've got to ask you, because you kind of, there's something poetic about the way that you write. Yeah, and I use the word wordsmith. There is clearly a deeper meaning behind what you're doing, okay? But that creative process, where does that begin? Do you get like a beat and you're like, okay, I need to make this track. Do you read a line? Do you think of a word? How do you create your music? Yeah, like it's, it's all about how I feel at that time or, or, or like just listening, listening to other people's stories and, and put them on record, like making something for people, like for the soul, people, something yeah. to relate to. Yeah. I love that. And you've spoken about how young kids already identify that within you. Yeah. And that's often the emotion that leads people. And then you help all of us with the emotional language and process yeah. our stuff. When you've got to collaborate, though, it's a different kind of creative process. Mm. Legend, how did this come about? And how did you guys gel together? Because it looks like the chemistry is strong, man. Um, with C Fresh and I, we basically came up together in terms of like he's, he's also from Eastern Cape. But when I moved to Joburg, the first year I was there, he was also there pursuing music. So that's when we met. That's why it's Beautiful. so easy to work together. It's, it's something that comes natural. Yeah. He's a brother to me. So I know his stories. I know what he goes through. He knows what I go through. So when we have to collaborate, it just comes naturally. Man. Where, where are you from in the Eastern Cape? Um, I'm from Tata. He's from Tolo. Tata and Tolo, oh, representing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're a young person living in either of those little locations right now, this is where you could end up. Yes, Proof yeah. is yes, in sir. the pudding. Yes, uh, what are you going to perform for us to shut down the show today? Yeah, it's a song called On Shile. Um, what informs us? What was the, the, the story behind the story? Yes, I remember Melo the, the, the first song I recorded. Yeah, she left. That's oh, why. Sorry, <laughs> bro. Of, <laughs> the meaning of Unshile, she left. The meaning yeah. she left. It's one of those heartbreak songs. Yes. Oh, I'm glad so you got your through that. Oh, we do, man. <laughs> we do. And I found him. He was also heartbroken. Oh, you see, <laughs> now I understand why this creative process worked so well. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you got a brother, both of you, yeah. to help you through the pain. Yeah. Um, one last time, to help us all process the emotion of loss. Okay, because it is hard. It is Sea Fresh. And of course, featuring on the first time on our show, Boot Legend. Gentlemen, thank you for closing out the show in style. Take it away. Thank you so much. Yo. T. We are our
Tando in the Jan. In the Tunans of an hour, baby, catch on Gogons of Pilaganjan. In the Salan Teta, now a baby, catch on Gogons of Tetanaban. Yamanga Bena Bangan. One of Banzo Gwenzanjan. One of Banzo Gwenzanjan. Qua Nate Vula. Galamini one in Tesio Yamu of the Lewa Ketri Pula. Always head my back. I look up, baby, been sat late. Pupa. Sandy Kumbula. Sandy Kumbula. Sandy Kumbula. Thank you. Oh,